Now, there's a few different ways to delete the automation. The automation, you could always just highlight it and delete it, which is probably the best way to do it. Sometimes you won't get it to exactly the way you want it to be because prior automation or all the automation within the track that's going to make cause it to kind of move a little bit. Now, when you actually erase the automation, it's actually going to bring it all the way back to zero or wherever you know the closest place that it was. But like right now, it's on negative 4.4. Now, what I could do is press the zero button to kind of set it back into place by holding down the the option button and clicking on the volume it's going to set all my volumes back to zero so that I can start again usually when you do automation you might want to just delete it all the time because sometimes it gets out of control sometimes you do too much automation and there'll be too much information it's kind of not letting you get the sound that you want so I suggest you just delete it all over again and set each one to zero and start again